Hi, I'm Michael Shermer, the director of the Skeptic Society and the publisher of Skeptic Magazine. Probably the single most important and uh, controversial topic that we deal with is science and religion in general and evolution and creationism in particular. I find what troubles most people about the theory of evolution is that uh, you could get something like us uh, from something like this fish or some lower form of animal. It just doesn't seem intuitively logical in our minds that that could have happened. And yet one of the fundamental principles of the theory of evolution is that if you give the forces of nature enough time, they can create almost anything. And as a dramatic example of that, um, I use uh, erosion. It's just the simple force of wind and, and water working away on rocks. So these rocks all come from the big island of Hawaii uh, and I picked them up myself. This was from a fresh lava flow. Uh, this was only several hours, maybe a half a day old uh, when I broke it off and uh, that's just solid rock right out of the ground. How do you get from that to the beautiful fine-grained black sand from the black sand beach also on the big island of Hawaii? Well, all you need to do is fill in the so-called missing links uh, in the erosion process. And that's what I've done here uh, in this little short demonstration. So you start off with a fresh rock right out of the interior of the earth. Uh, as it cools and then forms into little rocks that begin to uh, get chipped away and eroded away by wind and water, those rocks get smaller and smoother and smaller and smoother until you get these nice little flat soft, smooth rocks that then grind themselves down over thousands and thousands of years to these tiny little pebbles. And then those pebbles just slowly grind down into the forces of nature, again given enough time, into these tiny little, not quite sand grains, but not quite pebbles, just sort of in between like that, all the way down to the beautiful black sand of the black sand beach of Hawaii. That's all you got to do is just wind, rain, water, and time. From that, you can create uh, remarkable artifacts of nature like this.